everybody, it's Patrick Fransco. I want to talk to you today about the blades that are used in our industry. Obviously, there's a lot of different uh, blades made from a variety of different manufacturers, and it might be a little bit confusing why you might want to choose one versus another. So I want to talk to you about the primary things most people consider, and one would be sharpness, and the other would be durability. And uh, therein lies the problem, because typically with a blade, the sharper that you try to make the blade, the less durable it's going to be. So coming out of the box it may be extremely sharp and cut exactly the way you want it to, but then you're going to have to snap it off more often because it's going to lose its edge much faster. Uh, vice versa, if a blade is more durable and it tends to hold its edge longer, it tends to not be as sharp as some of the other options that are out there. So um, there's a couple different ways blade sharpness can be determined, and one of those would be the way that the blade is honed. And there's uh, uh, single honed blades and there's double honed blades. Single honed blades can typically be made sharper, uh, but in the process of making them sharper, the blade is going to lose its edge a little bit faster. It's going to be a little bit less durable. Double honed blades will hold their edge longer, but they tend to not be as sharp out of the box. So uh, again, depending on the manufacturer, you either have a single honed or a double honed blade, and uh, it just depends on your preferences. The other thing is you either have stainless steel or you have carbon blades. Now, first off, I just want to say for window tinting, you should never utilize a carbon blade on glass. Uh, they're a little bit stronger than a stainless steel blade, and they also tend to be sharper, which means they will actually cut the glass or score it, and uh, you're going to end up with scratch glass and an angry customer. So as far as carbon blades go, you never want to use them to cut on glass or to trim on glass. Uh, where carbon blades come in is if you also do paint protection film or vinyl graphics or vehicle wrap type installations, the carbon blades are going to be a lot sharper because the, the increased strength in the carbon blade allows them to get a much sharper edge and still retain durability. When you start dealing with paint protection films that are 6 mil, 8 mil and above, having that extra sharpness really helps also with the vinyl uh, graphics and things that tend to be a little bit thicker than window film. Obviously, it goes without saying you don't want to utilize these blades to cut on paint or cut on a vehicle, although many people say that they can do this and they're good enough that they won't score the paint. I've seen a lot of ruined paint jobs because people happen to pierce the material and get down into the paint. So where you want to utilize carbon blades is predominantly on... Um, if you're, if you're utilizing them to cut window film, not on the glass, you're not trimming on the glass, you're trimming on a cutting table or something else, or utilizing them for paint protection film or vinyl graphics, not cutting on the vehicle, but utilizing them to cut where you want them. Uh, want. Uh, stainless steel blades, great for window film installations. You could utilize them for trimming on glass. Still got to be careful with the pressure and things like that. You can on certain glasses, on certain types of glass, if it's softer, still score the glass even with a stainless blade, but it's much less likely that if you keep a nice, clean stainless blade that you're going to have a problem with scoring the glass. So hopefully this video helps along with the uh, information I uh, include in the video in the description. And if you have any questions, shoot me a direct uh, message or just respond in the comments and I'll try to answer those for you. And again, hopefully this was beneficial to you. Talk to you soon.